So I was using one of these the other day and someone mistook it for a valve core remover like these down here and um, I just realized that these are kind of rare and uh, thought I would do a video on it. I've never actually seen one of these in a supply house or anything um, and they're just not, not that common but they are really useful. Uh, what this is is a valve core depressor not remover so this plunger goes down and that little pin presses the Schrader so you can open the Schrader and shut it with zero loss. Um, it also gives you a nice 90 degree connection so you can get into tight spaces with this if you need to. But um, they're really great on pressure tests and stuff because you can put all your pressure in, close the core, and then get a perfect reading the next time um, just by, let's make sure all that's tight. Sorry about that glare. So, zero loss. So, especially on a very small system, you can hook up a stubby gauge and get a reading without losing anything. Now, once you've got pressure in it, this will be harder to unscrew because you've got pressure pushing this apart, creating a lot of friction there. What I like to do typically is just um, back the uh, plunger off, just take the pressure off right there and then this unscrews easily. So anyways, great for that. Great for not frosting your fingers on the liquid line. So what I like to do is keep um, one of these on my high side hose. So I hook this up first, um, screw it in to let pressure through the hose. I open my gauge up. I have this shut off and disconnected so I've got pressure in my manifold bleed the air out shut it hook this up and then when I'm ready to disconnect I open this up so there's a bunch of liquid in here open my manifold back up and then run everything through into the low side and um, so then you're getting all the liquid out you can take this off without getting that spurt of refrigerant, which sucks in the winter time. I mean, the older I get, the, just the less patience I get for you know, frosted fingertips. But anyways, um, so th these are made, <coughs> these are made by C&D. This is a 2060, which just means that um, you've got the pin and no back seat. So this stays open. Um, whether it's depressed or not. This one here is a 2070 and what it, it it looks a little bit different inside. I got it tight so it doesn't uh, loosen up in my van. This one looks a little different inside and it, it has a back seat so when you screw this all the way out um, it will actually trap refrigerant in here so so you can go from one unit to another without bleeding your uh, hoses again but keep in mind that you do you know as you're disconnecting with this you if you're not going to hook straight onto another unit you would want to uh, leave it cracked a little bit so it's not back seated so you're getting all the pressure uh, when you run it through the low side and you suck all that liquid out of this liquid hose you're reducing all the pressure from the Schrader core all the way up through this and out and that makes that super easy to unscrew so just a little tip for using these again this is a C&D 2070 this is a 2060 they make them they make them also for I don't know the numbers I do have one but um, I make them for the 5 16 uh, mini splits. So, anyways, um, thought that uh, that might be useful. Um, so I just figured I would I would share it. I've, I've got quite a few of these and, and really love them, especially for I got a couple sets of st stubby gauges. Which, by the way, um, I didn't realize it, but you can buy these. Uh, I just rebuilt these gauges, man. They they look so shitty, but uh, I bought. 
uh, new crystals for like four bucks a piece and these boots for like ten bucks um, it's freaking awesome um, so anyways um, I've got a couple sets of these and uh, I like using them on my smart probes but, um, but really <clears throat> in the winter time and stuff it's great to uh, avoid just frosting your fingers or sometimes some of these manufacturers will put these valves in the stupidest locations and um, and you can barely get a hose on them so it's great for for that <clears throat> um, you know uh, when you're when you're fighting it in that real tight area you're not having a bunch of refrigerant uh, freezing your hands at the same time so anyway hope that helps